Are things a little tense in here? Yeah, they were. But Jason took care of it. He handled it. Okay. Uh, what's, what, what's going on? Ask Claudia. Rick was here harassing me. And Jason made him leave. Well, Rick's been here a lot now, Claudia. Any any particular reason that he would be here? I don't know the usual. He's pathologically jealous of you and everything you've achieved, so he comes here to harass me, to try to turn you against me. Like I said, Jason handled it. Well, I appreciate that, Jason. I'm starting to realize why he's important to you. That makes him important to me. And to our baby. I had my doubts about Jason. I thought he was trying to undermine you. Well, now you know you're wrong. Yeah, I can see that. He wants what's best for you. And he protects all of us. No matter what. That's what he was doing right now? Yes, he was. And with the sad news about Michael, we need him to protect what we have left. And I know that he will. And that gives me a real comfort. I know you weren't comforting, Claudia, so can you tell me what the hell that was about? I mean, what do you think? You want me to me tell? What? Hold on, hold on. Hello? Sonny, thank God you answered. Michael is awake, and, and I, I think that he's okay. Lulu, are, are you sure? No, I was there, okay? He, he opened his eyes, he grabbed my hands, he talked to me, Sonny. Michael's awake. Tell him I'll be right there. What is it? Michael woke up. Max, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I was just uh, looking at the yard and remembering this afternoon a couple of years ago. Michael and I were flying this remote control airplane that Mr. C had given him. I just remember the... Look at joy on Michael's face. I think I'm gonna get it back out and fly it again with him. Did something happen with Michael? Great news, he woke up. The boss just got the call. I should go. Uh, with all due respect, no, Mr. C, but Jason asked that you stay here. Max, I spent hours in the hospital waiting to see if Michael was gonna wake up. I want to see him now. Okay, I'm very sorry, but Jason was very specific. When he gets that way, don't argue. Sonny is my husband. That makes Michael my family. Then just be glad he's okay. I hear the surgery that he went through was very risky, all right? Michael could be one of these miracle patients who wakes up from a coma and remembers everything. Just in the middle of a job for my brother-in-law since you're the only- Michael's awake. Thank God. This uh, whole thing is just tearing me apart, you know? Never in a million years did I think that I'd put a hit out on Sonny and Michael would be there by mistake and end up getting hit. I spent the last year of my life wishing I could turn back the clock. <laughs> well, Michael waking up is the next best thing. Maybe not for me. What are you talking about? Is he impaired? Does he have brain damage? I felt so guilty about what I'd done. I went to his hospital room and sat by his bed and told him over and over again how sorry I was for getting him shot. What if Michael remembers? What if he remembers me saying that it was my fault? Claudia, Michael is alive and functioning. That should make you happy. It does. I told you. I've been praying for Michael to wake up. I just didn't think... I didn't think far enough ahead. Jason suspects me already. And you know how close he is to Michael. If Michael heard what I said... And he remembers it. He's gonna tell Jason, and I'm a dead woman. Claudia, that's a hell of a leap you're making. But if Michael does remember, maybe it's what we deserve. Excuse me? I'm not really looking forward to being killed, nor do I want to see Sonny kill you. Although, I'm probably safe. Yeah, I doubt that. I'm carrying Sonny's child. I think I'm safe for the next couple of months. After that, I'll play it by ear. Okay, Claudia, you are a basket case, and you know it. The stress of waiting for the other shoe to drop is going to destroy you and that baby before Sonny even lifts a finger. There's one thing left to do. What are you doing I'm here? I'm stopping you. 
No way you're gonna barge into Michael's room and find him if he remembers your confession. I have to know. Hey, we have done enough to this kid. Put him through enough hell. Leave him alone. I want to know what happened to me. As a father comes clean. I was supposed to protect you, and I failed. I am so sorry. His wife hides the shocking truth. What if Michael remembers me saying that it was my fault? 